Hi, I'm David Lopresti. We're going to talk today about the Lopresti Boombeam HID light for the Piper Cherokee series. Now, the kit we have fits most of the Cherokees. The one we're going to talk about today specifically is the Piper Arrow, although it, it's pretty much the same for the other Cherokees. Now, what we're going to do is talk a little bit about the HID light. That's a HID, High Intensity Discharge. It's a gas discharge lamp. It's a gas plasma lamp. I've got the lamp right here. You know, the normal light bulb has a little curly Q filament in it, and when that shakes, it breaks. Um, pretty much the same technology has been around for a long, long time. Newer technology is gas discharge. It's much more efficient. We use about a third of the amps of the standard uh, GE sealed beam. Plus, there's no filament, so there's nothing to break. That's why we can warranty the thing for a real long time. If you look on the lamp, about if I can get this focus here, about halfway down is a little bubble. That's a Xeon gas bubble with metal halide crystals in it. This little wire is an electrode wire, so it brings a positive and negative up to that uh, little bubble and, and zaps it when you first turn the power on. More about the lamp in a few minutes here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to step you through how all the kit goes into your airplane. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is take the cowling off, take the top cowl off, take the bottom cowl off, set it aside for right now. Uh, the wire that ran from your switch now goes out through your firewall it goes around to a connector so you can unplug it when you're taking your cowling off. Uh, you're going to trim that wire back and connect it to our new wire. We give you a new uh, little wire with a plug pre-terminated on it. Positive and negative, we care, so do connect the positive and negative polarity the right way so everything will work right. Now this wire plugs into our ballast. That's what our ballast looks like. And this will mount either on your firewall, or where I like it is on the little gas escalator. There's that little box, that little sheet metal box that surrounds the gas escalator on the left side. And this will mount right on top of that box, and you'll plug in uh, the power there. Now you'll see this has a little keeper. So when you plug it in, you'll hear a nice click, and you'll know that it's in there. Uh, how do you mount that? You don't screw it in place. We have you glue it in place. And, well, kind of screwed and glued. We give you these little clip-on fasteners. There's these little studs. It's really a cool little kit. Uh, they're used for uh, weapons bays at Boeing for mounting stuff uh, in the uh, walls in there without having to drill any holes. We give you some uh, high-strength structural adhesive that you'll mix up, and there's instructions in the kit. And you'll put them on this little piece, and you'll see there's little uh, pressure-sensitive tape. You'll peel them off, put that in the right spot, and you'll push this down and it snaps down. Now once it's cured, you'll pull off the little plastic piece, this little guy right off, toss it away, you don't need it anymore, and you have a little stud and that's what mounts this. We'll even give you a little standoffs and nuts and that'll be in there and there's a template to make sure that all the holes line up right. Uh, so we've kind of thought this through, we've done several thousand of these. Now from there, and why I like this on the left side, because what you're going to do is run a new wire. And this is the new high voltage wire. Uh, you'll see it. This is the one that goes in the arrow. And we have these in lengths everywhere from 12 inches out to 10 feet and a bunch of sizes in between for different airplanes. Now this is a, a special wire. Uh, it does have the, the right connectors for the lamp and for the ballast. And this plugs in right here. Let me push this in and the little tabs will lock down so you know it's in place and you'll have to pop those off when you go to uh, take the cowling off which is why it's handy on the left side. Now what's special about the wire? Uh, we've added extra shielding. Now it is, you know, twisted wire, shielded wire, mil spec, all that stuff. It still wasn't quiet enough for us. Uh, we're a little extra fussy and that's the way our family has always been. My dad uh, really stressed uh, making parts as well as we can. And if you look, you may not be able to see it on this video, but if you look on there, it looks a little bumpy because there's an extra wrap of shielding and an extra shrink wrap on top of that. So this wire is electrically very, very quiet. Uh, and that's important uh, if you uh, don't want to have any noise coming through your headset. Now, let me just pop this piece off here and just hit that with a little screwdriver so you can pull that tab off. You want to be careful when you're pulling that off that you don't break the tabs 
Uh, we do have extra plastic pieces, not a giant deal, but it's something to be aware of. You don't need to pull those, bend those real far to get it off, just a little bit to get it up off this little tab, and the whole thing will slide right out. Now, as you're plugging in things, let's go back to the plug here a little bit, uh, these will come pre-lubed with DC4. You want to make sure that you, you know, keep those lubed. That's one of the, the, the continuing airworthiness issues uh, in installation. Any of that uh, uh, DC4-like stuff, uh, silicone paste, to make sure you don't get any corrosion buildup. So, how do you mount this to your cowling? Uh, the same people that make these really cool little studs make little glue-in-place cable tie mounts. You'll clean up the cowling, uh, glue those in, in place, and then you'll tie wrap this along your cowling on up to the light pocket. The light pocket's where your landing light is now. Currently, your light is held in place with that ring with a single screw at the 6 o'clock, and there's a little popsicle stick kind of thing out the top. Uh, kind of neat because it's a single screw, because it's tough, because you're changing the light bulbs all the time to make it easy for them to come on and off. Since you're not going to be changing lights, we wanted a more firm mount, and that piece tends to chafe and fall off occasionally. And we've had uh, customers report that their stock light would come loose and kind of flop around, and it's kind of ugly. kind of hits props. It's not a real good thing. So what we did is we made this little adapter. Now, why the adapter? Well, if you take your HID boom beam light and you put it in the back of the reflector, you can see we're going to be a little bit deeper than a standard light. We're deeper by about uh, about an inch and a half. If you look behind the light right now on a Piper Arrow, that muffler goes right behind there. It, there. There is no space. So what we did is we made this adapter so you could put our light into that same hole. And while we were at it, we fixed a couple other issues. Uh, we still use the single hole in the bottom at the 6 o'clock to mount to the bottom of that light bucket and we added two more holes with plate nuts so you have three holes mounting this adapter into the cowling so it's a good firm mount and if you need to uh, some guys like the light pointed one way or the other you can actually shim that a little bit and point it in the right direction but our beam is so nice and big and wide um, that's a feature that nobody really uses they just hard mount it right into the bottom of the cowling so you have this light as into the lens reflector assembly and then you plug in this plug, the other end here, uh, right on in. Let me see, this goes in like that. And it plugs in. A good connection, it's a shielded connection. Uh, and that's all there is to the kit. So people ask me, how long should this take to do? Uh, there is some cure time for that adhesive. So if you discount the cure time, it's all about an hour or so. Uh, I tell people to plan on about an hour and a half to two hours more than the time it takes to pull the cowling off and put it back on again. Because you're going to pull it off, you're going to clean it up, you're going to glue everything in, and then make all the connections. And when you're done, you have a really bright light that lasts a really long time and uses very little amps. If you have more questions, just drop me a note at david at lopresteaviation.com or uh, you can go to our sales team at info at lopresteaviation.com. If you want to call us, please call 772 Five six two four seven five seven. Thanks.